Well, hello there. It's June 20th, Saturday. Um, almost the longest day of the year. I am uh, just did a last minute uh, decision to do an overnighter. I'm heading down the uh, Highline Trail from Hayden Pass. And I'm gonna take a little overnighter to um, Packard Lake. I checked the register and it looks like there might be one party in here. Um, maybe two. So I should be able to find a, a campsite down in there. I didn't want to go too far. Um, just a quick overnighter and tomorrow's Father's Day so I need to be out of here at a reasonable time in the morning. I'm just getting over a uh, uh, problem with my left knee. Um, had trouble with it since about February and uh, finally went in to see an orthopedist about it because it was getting to the point where I couldn't even walk on it and they came to the conclusion that it's either arthritis yay or a torn meniscus so he said let's try a cortisone injection we did that and I wasn't too impressed with that it was going to do anything but uh, the last few days, it's been about eight or nine days since then. The last couple days, I've actually been able to get out and, and do a normal walk around town. So uh, we're going to see how we do with a load on my back. Uh, I'm not loaded too heavy. I'm only about 25 pounds, so it's not too bad. So we'll check in with you on the trail as we get down a ways. Starting to get into the... Uh burned area from the really hot fire they had up here it's been two years ago maybe just a year ago and uh, it was a pretty uh, complete burn a little further up here as you'll be able to see this is the beginning of the uh, you know most severely burned area and it is uh, encouraging to see uh, we got some uh, wildflowers here and a little bit of grass so luckily as hot as this fire was it didn't sterilize the ground completely so that's pretty encouraging so maybe we'll get some growth going here over the next few years get this looking pretty again there's uh, Scudder Lake with uh, Bald Mountain and uh, Reed's Peak in the background. So last time I was here, I was uh, it was uh, two or three months after the, the fire had been up in here. And it was probably late October, November-ish. Because there was about a four or five, six inches of snow on the, on the trail. Or more in different places. And I came in here to check out Packard Lake. So everything obviously looks a little bit different <laughs> than it did that time. And... Uh, Right up here, just a ways, I lost the trail and just went cross countrying to find my way up and over to the, over the next ridge. So we'll see if I can see now where I made my mistake. Now I see where I went wrong. I had gone down this trail right here along the, the lake, and I got over there and I realized that wasn't the right right place. So I came back here looking for the trail cutting off here couldn't find it it's actually right here it was all covered in snow so I didn't see it so I ended up going up by the creek that's back there up the creek drainage and up and over this the hard way it was a uh, oh knee to mid thigh deep snow and I was post hauling pretty much all the way up there
I made it over the ridge. So now we're uh, coming up on Wyman Lake. It's just a few yards up here. And uh, if I recall, all the trail from here to Packard Lake is uh, pretty much level like this. No big climbs, so hard part's over. And so, so far, the knee's doing pretty good, so I'm pretty excited about that. This is Wyman Lake. We'll leave the trail here for a second, go down and have a look. And as I mentioned previously, I was here in the late fall, early winter, and this was covered in ice. So it looks a little different. Swampy here. I keep myself, keep, I keep my feet dry. Pretty nice and peaceful. Almost there. Yeah, there's uh, Packard Lake back in there if you can see it. But before I go over there, I gotta go have a look over here. This is uh, pretty amazing to me. How about that? That's the uh, East Fork of the Shane River down there and West Fork coming in down from uh, Mirror Lake. We'll come down and Check out this waterfall on the a uh, little bit later. But we're gonna see if we can find a campsite first. And it looks like I'm seeing the first of the mosquitoes. Boo! Uh, when I was up here in the late fall, early winter, apparently there was no um, water coming over this waterfall. Because um, I didn't notice it, because it must have been the lake was low enough, it wasn't, had no outflow. So, <laughs> I didn't hear it, because there wasn't any water, so I didn't pay any attention to it. But I actually took pictures um, of this uh, overlook from right behind me. And I wish I could get a in front shot of that, but it's all sheer cliffs here. Well, I'm back at camp and I make some dinner. I'm curious to how this is going to come out. Let me uh, check my water here real quick. Oh, it's getting there. So I'm going to try Backpackers Pantry uh, Louisiana Red Beans and Rice. We'll see how that is. I'm a little worried though. It says it takes 15 to 20 minutes plus it double the time for every 5,000 feet of elevation game. So, and they started at five, so I've got to double that. So I guess I'll uh, do what I've done before and put it in my neoprene koozie and uh, put it in my sleeping bag and let it go for uh, 30 or 40 minutes. I ended up uh, being the only one up here. Everybody else must have gone out for Father's Day. So it's pretty nice though. 
So you're quiet. Well, here's the verdict on the uh, Louisiana red beans and rice. They're pretty good. A little bit on the spicy side. But uh, they rehydrated really good. In fact, I let it go for a full 40 minutes. And I'm about half done with it, and it's still too hot to eat. <laughs> so I won't worry about this in the future. And I'll let these things cook as even longer than they need to. I think the longer they go, the better they rehydrate. Now the sun's starting to set over there. Clouds don't look too intriguing for a, a sunset. But we'll see. Sometimes you get surprised. We'll wait till the sun goes down and see if we can get anything. And then we'll uh, hit the hay. The plan tomorrow is I probably need to get out of here about um, 7 o'clock. Leave myself plenty of time. I got to get back down to where I have internet access. Um, the family's having a Father's Day Zoom meeting with everybody in the family, so I better I got to be there for that, or people won't like me. So, so I'll be getting getting to bed here pretty soon, and uh, hopefully, uh, sun the sunrise over there to the east will wake me up in the morning, and we'll get on our way. We'll check in with you uh, in the morning. Well, good morning. It's a beautiful uh, pre-sunrise Sunday morning, Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. Um, just finished breaking camp and uh, I'm uh, on my way out.
Well, we made it.